Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark. Uh, what's the date? The date is August 19th, 9.45 a.m. And uh, this is the headline of today of e, &E News. Experts, plutonium and uranium flow into ocean from Fukushima. Heavily contaminated water is leaking out of the plant. Melted fuel releasing hundreds of different radioactive materials. Officials refuse to investigate 90% of these. And then we come down to this guy who made that quote. Tim Deer Jones, UK-based marine radioactive consultant. Can you believe this? These represent less than 10% of the total inventory of nuclides. I can see no justification for refusing to investigate the concentrations of approximately 90% of radioactive materials. I could not believe this when I read it, because this is straight up John Goffman's 90% rule, where they under-report 90% of radioactive material, and they only investigate 10%. This is straight up with the IAEA. John Goffman said this himself, that the IAEA and the United States military refuse. They have like an instituted policy where they only report less than 10% of the total inventory of nuclides, and they also refuse to investigate concentrations of approximately 90%. I was outraged when I read that, but check this out. This is what's even really more outrageous. Fucking hell. I have no idea who actually... Look at my computer. It takes so slow. Check this out. I was dumbfounded. That The 90% rule being spelled out right there, just like that, super easy. But watch what happens when this stuff pops up. Nuclear Free Local Authorities Radioactive Waste Policy Briefing Number 41 Prepared for NFLA Members August of 2013 and it's making e, e News now. What the fuck? Who, who runs e, e News? What a fucking mind fuck. 2013. We're in August of 2014. They're putting up stuff from 2014. Look at this thing. August 2013. Here's the original one. I cannot believe it. I am... My mouth is just falling open. I just... This report's from a year ago. This motherfucker, Tim Deer Jones, UK-based marine radioactive consultant, researcher, and campaigner, has been researching this subject since the 80s. If he's been doing it, he's fucking failing, you stupid fuck. How come nobody knows this guy all over the place? Why isn't he out there with Kevin Blanche? Why isn't he posting his own fucking videos, this stupid motherfucker, greedy bastard? Look at this. The number two radionuclides entering the marine environment of the east coast of Japan. This is 2013, folks. The nature of radionuclides derived from reactor and cooling outputs. Oh, my God. It includes emitters, probably four or five isotopes of plutonium, three of uranium, also americium and curium, have will also have been released and entered into the marine environment. You mean that's what they will? Fate and behavior of marine act bioactivity, of marine radioactivity. I'm sorry, I am fucking tongue tied. I'm falling off of my chair. This is unmotherfucking believable. However, finer sentiment sediments, sediment particles are more susceptible to suspension in the water column than large, coarser sediment particles, and subsequent longer term transport before becoming deposited in estuarian and coastal environments. Really? How can these people fucking sleep with themselves? Casium, iodine, and tritium. UK studies in the Irish Sea have demonstrated that cesium concentrations in marine sediments may be concentrated. Oh my god. Who are these fucking people? I mean, they just write this shit as if, oh, we're just, you know, reporting how to build a garden. It's no big fucking deal. The average dietary dose of sea 
seaborne cesium alone received by the island population was higher than the average dietary dose seaborne radioactivity. Da 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 da. Can you believe this? Oh my god, Irish sea cesium from cellophile liquid discharges have been found in, a, in the entirety of the Hebridean I, island local food production and have trans, having transferred from the sea to the land in sea spray and marine aerosols generated in both the open sea and coastal surf by the winds in many directions. So this report has been out for over a year telling us that we're basically fucked from Sellafield and from Fukushima. I can't, I'm just dumbfounded. As I, as I pick through this, I mean, who are these people? Why aren't they jumping up and down further weaknesses in Japanese marine environmental monitoring? Given the intense use of ad hoc large volumes inputs of cooling water from a variety of sources coupled with the inability to control and contain ad hoc cooling system as a result of the tsunami damage inflicted on the site infrastructure, it is inevitable that much of that ad hoc coolant will have entered unprotected soils and drainage channels and that there will be an extended time lag before all of it has drained into the sea. Do people even understand what this fucking is saying? Radioactivity is the worst thing we have ever seen in our entire history of the planet. And we're fucking talking about stopping the frackers when this is happening? Critical groups can be defined by those populations most likely to be exposed by the highest doses from these sources and pathways as a result of their habitation of particular areas and zones, their consumption of seafood, their consumption of terrestrial foods contaminated by seaborne radioactivity as a result of sea to land transfer, their inhalation of seaborne radioactivity suspended in and being transported through the coastal zone aerial environment as a result of sea to land transfer. For a full set of references for this briefing, please contact Tim Deer. Guess what? You know what I am going to do is contact Tim Deer Jones. I am beyond nonplussed. I, August 15th, 2013. Now, who the fuck is doing ENE News? Where they call it news, ENE. News means it's new, not a fucking year old. This is life-changing information, and you stupid motherfuckers are acting like we got time. I, unbelievable. Well, I'm going to stop ranting, and I'm going to post this up to YouTube again, and I'm, wow, you guys, unbelievable. This is why I feel super compelled to keep sponsoring Kevin Blanche, and, you know, It'd be really great if we could find a benefactor who would give us $50,000 a year. I mean, Kevin talks about hundreds of thousands. We don't need hundreds of thousands. We basically need enough money for Kevin to live on, money to travel, money to do some research. I don't even care if you pay me because I have a job. Check that out. I'm working on taxes. So, that's, that's, a, I'm just nonplussed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.